Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, March 30th, 2017. The Tarot card for today is the Three of Wands, and I have to tell you, I am loving seeing this here, okay? Because take a look at the image itself, you know, where this guy is standing and what he sees off in the future. I mean, all, well, off in the distance. It is the future. It's the palace, right? Kind of like the promised land kind of thing. And you see the gesture of his hand? He wants to call it to him. He wants it to be a part of his life. So when we talk about this card, we talk about, you know, the preparation that's necessary. You know, and you, you kind of have to have, I think the best word that goes with this card is foresight where you have to realize what needs to be done for that preparation to get to that spot. It's not like, you know, where you wiggle your nose and you're there, or you hope and you're there. It involves work. And we have been talking about these last few months, uh, you know, not these last few months, but these next few months with the, all the work that's involved. Not a lot of time to be idle. The retrogrades, you know, this is retrograde season. It may be slowing you down. And we have a couple more coming. A lot to talk about in the month of April, by the way. So, but you're you're kind of knowing that it's out there. And that it's possible. And the fact that you're getting in that mode now makes me very, very happy. I think before you weren't sure. And now you're like, okay, that's a possibility. That could be my future how do I get to it? I want to get to it. Well, one of the things that's going on today, and we don't discuss everything every day, you know, because this is a tarot blog, but Jupiter is squaring Pluto. And this is the second of three. I think the third one is sometime in August. So there were only three transits. One happened late last year. And, and this is kind of about power plays and things of that nature. But what will you do? to achieve the success that you want. And the only way that I can describe it and put it into words is that means to an end. And I think this is where Jupiter, you know, square Pluto can bring out a little bit of corruption. I'm not saying you're corrupt, but I think with others, like they want their own way and they may go to any length and not stop until they think that they can get it. So, you know, even for the person who's doing that, they're looking at this. They're looking at their future and they're like, that's what I want. How I get from here to there, I don't care who I trod on. So you see this, this card and this transit, they fit very, very well together because that's it. You see it, you know it, you want it. Now, what are you going to do? to get to there. And it's a few months off, all right? I think that late May, early June, at least by the solstice, that kind of thing, I want to get to that spot. I want to find out what's going on over at that palace because I think I belong there. Hmm. And that's the big question is, what will you do? Will it be in a good way? Or will it be in a way that hurts others as you're doing it? So that's a, a really big, I, I think, a moral question that comes up. Um, I mean, ultimately, yes, you want to do what's good for you. But this can have some huge impacts. So I need to remind you of the same thing that I always say. And that is that this isn't all just about you. Everybody else out there is feeling the same things and what they're choosing and what they're doing and how they view their future and what they're willing to do to get there. You know, sometimes the byproduct of their actions becomes a part of yours. So be aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to what's going on. And that's not meant in a paranoid way. It's meant in an observant way. Make sure you understand what is happening and don't be so hyper focused that you're only looking at what you want because other people's paths are going to cross yours so i want to thank you all very much for listening i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day